consider the below two tables for reference while trying to solve the SQL queries for practice. First table is employee details. Next table is employee salaries. Here, yeah, SQL primarily uses various commands for different operations in the database. These commands are divided into five different types. These are DDL, DML, DCL, DQL, and TCL. First one is DDL. Data Definition Language It includes Create, Drop, Truncate, Alter, and Backup, Optional. Next, DML. Data Manipulation Language It includes Update, Delete, Select, Use, Insert, and Merge. Next, DCL. Data Control Language It includes Grant and Revoke. Next, DQL. Data Query Language It includes Only Select. Final TCL. Transaction Control Language It includes Commit, Rollback, Save Point, and Set Transaction. Here are some most used SQL commands. Create Table it is used to create the new table in given database. Create table table name, column 1 data type, column 2 data type, column 3 data type. Column in data type, primary key, one or more columns. Select, it is used to select the table in given database. Select column 1, column 2, column in from table name. Update table, it is used to update the new or existing table in given database. Syntax, update table name set column 1 is equal to value 1, column 2 is equal to value 2, column in is equal to value in, where condition. Insert into, it is used to insert the values the new table in given database. Syntax, insert into table name, column 1, column 2, column in, values, value 1, value 2, value in. Delete, it is used to delete the specific row in table. Syntax, delete from table name where condition. Drop table, it is used to remove the one or more table in given database. Syntax, drop table table name. Truncate table, it is used to remove the all rows in a database table. Syntax, truncate table table name. Alter table, it is used to add, delete, drop or modify columns in the existing table. Syntax, Alter table table name add, drop, modify column name data type. Create database, it is used to create the new database. Syntax, create database database name. Drop database, it is used to delete the new database. Syntax, drop database database name. Use database, it is used to select a database and perform SQL operations into that database. Syntax, use database database name. Most used clauses and operators in SQL. Where clause, it is used to retrieve only those records which fulfill the given criteria. Syntax, select column 1, column 2, column in from table name where condition. Distinct clause, it is used in a select statement to filter or remove duplicate rows or columns in the result set. Syntax, Select distinct column 1, column 2, column in from table name. And or operators, these operators are used to combine multiple conditions along with where and an or clause. Syntax, select column 1, column 2, column in from table name. Where condition 1 and or condition 2. In operator, it is used to search for specified values that match any value in the set of multiple values it accepts. It is used with where clause. Syntax, select column 1, column 2, column in from table name where column name in, value 1, value 2, wall in. Between operator, this operator is used to the where clause to get values within a specified range. Syntax, select column 1, column 2, column in from table name where column name between wall 1 and wall 2. Like operator. It is used to match a value to a similar value using wildcard operators. It is used with where clause. Syntax, select column 1, 
column to column in from table name where column name like pattern. Order by clause, it is used for sorting the data either in ascending or descending order based on a specified column or list of columns. Syntax, select column 1, column 2, column in from table name where condition, order by column name ASC, DESC. Group by clause, it is used with the select statement to get similar data in database tables. Syntax, select sum, column name, from table name where condition group by column name. Write an SQL query to insert a new employee detail in employee details table. Use the insert query to insert data into database table. Insert into employee details, employee ID, first name, last name, date of joining, department, city, values, 106, comma, Mayant, Patel, comma, 0 to dash 10 dash 2022, comma, HR Pune. Write an SQL query to select a specific employee detail in employee details table. Use the select query to select data from the database table. Select from employee details where employee ID is equal to 104. Write an SQL query to update a project detail in employee salaries table. Use the update query to update data into the database table. Update employee salaries set project code is equal to P3 where employee ID is equal to 102. Write an SQL query to delete only employee details table data. Use the truncate query to delete data from the database table. Truncate table employee details. Write an SQL query to fetch employee names having salary greater than or equal to 8 lakhs and less than or equal 15 lakhs. Use between in the where clause to return the employee ID of the employee with salary satisfying the required criteria and then use it as subquery to find the employee ID. From employee details. Table. Select first name. From employee details. Where employee ID in. Select employee ID from employee salaries. Where salary between 8 lakhs and 15 lakhs. Write an SQL query to fetch the number of employees working in project P1. Use the aggregate function count with the SQL where clause. Select count from employee salaries where project code is equal to P1. Write a query to fetch the number of employees working in the department HR. Select count from employee details where department is equal to HR. Write a query to get the current date. In SQL Server, select Get Date. In MySQL, select SysDate. Write a query to create a new table which consists of data and structure copied from the other table. Using the Select Into command, select into new table from employee details where 1 is equal to 0. Using the Create command in MySQL, Create table mutable as select from employee details. Write a query to find the names of employees that begin with R. Use the like operator. Select from employee details where first name like R percent. Write a query to get the details of employees whose first name ends with A. Use the like operator. Select from employee details where first name like A. Write an SQL query to fetch portion name and the total salary paid for each employee salaries. Use the sum, operator and group by clause. Select portion name, sum, salary, from employee salaries group by portion name. Write an SQL query to fetch the different projects available from the employee salaries table. Use the distinct clause to get the unique values of the project. Select distinct project code from employee salaries. Write an SQL query to fetch those employees who live in Bangalore and work under department with department is equal to HR. Select employee ID, city, department from employee details where city is equal to Bangalore and department is equal to HR. 
Write an SQL query to display the total salary of each employee adding the salary with variable value. Use the plus operator in SQL. Select employee ID. Salary plus variable as total salary. From employee salaries. Write an SQL query to find the maximum, minimum and average salary of the employees. Use the aggregate function of SQL to fetch the max, min, and average values. Select max, salary. Min, salary. Average, salary. From employee salaries. Write an SQL query to fetch common records between two tables. In SQL Server. Using intersect operator. Select from employee salaries. Intersect. Select from manager salaries. In MySQL, Usete subquery. Select. From employee salaries. Where EMPID in. Select EMPID from manager salary.